then I got a call to say that Eddie and Frank Fraser had been nicked. I had to go back to London to try and sort things out. But back in South Africa, things went from bad to worse. Johnny Bradbury, the fucking idiot. He goes out and pops Richard Waldeck, which sent any of my business hopes right to the gallows. The prick got 20 years for his efforts. So what's the news, Will? All we know is that Eddie and Frank are in a fight at Mr. Smith's and some cunt pulls a shooter. Shooter? She was those fucking fruit machines. Next thing we know, the old bill's all over the place and they've whipped Eddie away. Like it was all... all planned, Charlie. Was anyone supposed to the old bill? They don't want to know. What do you mean they don't want to fucking know? Hey? They always want to fucking know. Not this time. You know Eddie ain't been paying them, Charlie. Something else is up. All that feelers are running scared. What about the jury? Can't get near them. The old Bill's got a You give me someone on the fucking jury, Roy! It's not that easy. No one's come near oh, us for weeks. Excuse me. Who are we dealing with here? Is it a mug, is it? No, it's not. It's fucking Eddie. Eddie Richardson. He's my brother. Now, you fucking sort this. It's for Eddie. Both of you two. Charlie, let me tell you something. I've got envelopes full of buns at the yard. Oh, well, oh OK. So suddenly, no one. Oh, suddenly, suddenly, boys. Suddenly, the boys, the, the coppers have got fucking stupid. They don't want to pay for their new cars, their new suits, and their fucking wife's holidays. They don't want to do that anymore, do they? You're telling me you've got fucking envelopes in the fucking office? Lose them and find me some chance on the fucking jury. <laughs> so, they did. They found me a jury member on Eddie's trial. That's him over there. How much are you going to give him? As much as it fucking takes for it. There you go, son. Charlie, old Bill. What the fuck are they doing here? Don't even fucking tell me this. Hang on, mate. OK, son. Get the fuck out of here. Fucking do it. I really don't think this is well advised. If you don't, I will. Is there a problem? My lord, something has come to light that might have a direct bearing on this case. And that is? I think your honour would prefer if I would approach the bench. If you have something that has a bearing on this case, I'm sure the whole court would like to hear it. It's to do with your worship personally. My clients believe that you, presiding on this case, is not in their best interests. My client maintains that you met him and Mr. Richardson at a railway station some years ago. I have never met either man before. Well, there was an incident where you were accosted. Fucking turd! I'll fucking fetch you one, you little shit! Your old man was a cunt! The fresh is coward! Furthermore, Mr. Fraser was involved in an incident with your father on Wandsworth Common, where your father sustained neck injuries, I believe. Blimey, it's Lawton! Who? Oh? Lawton, the governor of Wandsworth Nick. Lawton's son. The geezer I nearly hanged 20 years ago. He's a fucking judge. My client is worried that this situation could be damning to him and the other defendant. The defendants believe that they have encountered me before. They refer to an incident on a platform of a London railway station. I wish to inform you that I was involved in such an incident. But I cannot recollect if the incident involved the two defendants. It is my opinion that they are using this incident to try and disrupt the case. I therefore see no reason to stand down. That is my final decision. You fucking wanker! You fascist bastard! Tell him you fucking fascist! Take him apart. This has nothing to do with the trial, Charlie. Oh, it has everything to do with the trial. I'm being set up here. 
This Lawson's a fucking fascist. Everyone knows it. Ask Frank. Mr. Frank's opinion on the judge is not going to carry much weight. You've seen that. You listen to me. His parents, they went out as guests to Mussolini's fucking wedding. His old man sponsored German propaganda ships in the war. And this cunt stood as a black shirt's member of parliament for Hammersmith fucking North. Now all I've done is sent a few old dears on holiday with the proceeds of a bit of hooky gear. I failed to see you. You failed to see what? Don't you get it? I'm being set up here. One says we're eating sandwiches. The other says we're eating scampi. They can't even get their stories straight, they're so fucking thick. Now what's all this shit now about torture again, eh? Where'd I get this from? They produced- You fucking find out who's feeding the press this shit! They produced a black box, Charlie. You work for me. Do you still fucking work for me? Oh, good. Good. So you were there. So you heard what they said. They said it was like the one Mr. Richardson used. Like the fucking one. I mean, it's like you saying, you know, you know my client was stabbed. You know, you know, don't have a knife. You know, but is, is a weapon like the one used? Like the one fucking used. You keep your fucking ears shut. Now suddenly, I'm in a bit game. But it's just me. Me and my brother Eddie. It's not much of a fucking gang, is it? Charlie, what do you want me to do? <laughs> I fuck tonight. You've got to pick for them, Charlie. Everybody who leaves this country has to pay you to park their car. Yeah, I know that. Every scrap you have the Thames is so now. I mean, your clubs, pubs. Yes. Yeah. You're, you're more powerful than the police. And this business with you. Yeah. And you think that's it? I'm having a clean up Charlie. The twins will be next. Fuck off with that. Okay. Okay, I was a bit naughty. I slapped a few people around, but everyone, everyone I fucked with was in the business. You know that. I never, never missed, never hurt outsiders. What am I looking at? Four, five years. Maximum eight. Okay. I'll do it. If I have to. Charles Richardson. From the evidence I have heard in this case, I am satisfied that over a period of years, you were the leader of a large, disciplined, well-led, well-organized gang. And that for the purposes of your material interests and on occasions, for the purposes of your criminal desire, you terrorized those who crossed your path and terrorized them in a way that was vicious, sadistic, and a disgrace to society. When I remember the evidence of some of your brutality, I am ashamed to think that one lives in a society that contains men like you. The sentence of this court must be severe and for the following reasons. The court must show that it repudiates your ideas and is revolted by them. You must be prevented from committing further crime. It must be clear to all those who set themselves up as gang leaders that they will be struck down. I have come to the conclusion that there is no known penal system that will cure you but time. The only thing that will cure you is the passing of the years. You must go to prison for 25 years. Let 
me tell you something about prison. You take a bad man, you put him in a building with other bad men. You know what you get? A building full of bad men. He tripped, didn't he? So I offered him a cup of tea. And they put me in with some bad ones. Ian Brady, Moore's murderer. Done for murdering a bunch of little kids. I wish I'd done it myself now. Now that would be worth doing time for. Here you are, Charlie. Your new home. Thirteen years in Durham, Charlie. This should be a piece of piss. It will be. Because I'm getting out of here. I'm having to have a fucking more. Don't be a prat, Charlie. You've only got a few years left to do, Charlie. And I did. I had it off over the wall. I went to Spain where everything was perfect. So I thought. I just escaped from Her Majesty's Nick and put myself into one of my own making. I don't think I've ever, ever felt more alone in my life. This was it. Paradise. Four drab walls. With not much else to do. But look back, face facts, and tell myself the truth. Charlie, come on, come on, come on, boy. I'm gonna go home, Dad. Do me time. I guess this would be the one time I nearly lost it. I had to go back and do my time. So, I went back home, walked into the local nick, and gave myself up. 